Part of the problem with extruding chocolate on a 3D printer is once it's extruded, you need to cool it down pretty quickly. Here we can see the second layer of chocolate being overlaid and it's not solidified enough. So I need to use a cooling fan. Well, this one's come from an old laptop and it's a right angled fan. It works quite well but I want to get more air out of the situation, so I've defined this aspirator to increase the airflow that the fan can provide. It's like a Dyson air blade, but don't tell James Dyson. Here's the 3D model in SolidWorks, and here you can see the cross section where the air comes in through the top and enters the chamber, where it's pushed through this little aperture and comes jetting out across like an airline's wing. This draws the air through the tube and gives you a much more air coming out at the end. Now I'm going to demonstrate that by using a little test here. I've sealed up the end of the aspirator with some tape and when I blow, the ping pong ball jumps up a little way. I'm blowing as hard as I can here and the ping pong ball will jump a little way and goes on the floor of course. But there we go, up it goes just a little way. Now, I'm taking the tape off the bottom to prove that the aspirator will work as intended and draw air through the bottom. So now, trying the ping pong ball on top of the aspirator and blowing again, you see the ping pong ball goes much further this time. Let's try it again. Really, really high. So you can get an idea that there's a lot more force with the aspirator than the fan on its own. So I'm gonna test this out and hopefully it's going to work.